Wow. But I prefer that over mm -hmm. over not trying. Yeah. I mean, I if I was like um height. I wish like in like high school instead I could just you could just be learning languages rather than math. I mean, come on, we got all the math and things going on. But who needs to learn fast? I know, fast? you know. To be honest, I think all all a person really needs are language skills. Mm -hmm. Because once you have language skills, you can access the other skills. Cool. So like suppose you want to learn mathematics and you know French, you can access mathematical text in French and that would really help you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See how different languages explain yeah. different programs. Do you remember yeah, what actually the <laughs> It's oh, like yeah, time to get back on subject. <laughs> There's my fault for like changing the subject. Uh, uh, do you know what hame ni naru meant? Well, naru is to become. So so. And hame, hame ni. That's a noun. So so. Ni hame. Mark the destination. So something became so hame. Becoming hame. Hame is a burden, basically. So to become a burden, oh. we get stuck with some to be get to be get stuck with something. Hame. And hame. this is a sentence you read last time, hame. but I thought it's a good example of how hame is used. So let's go read this. Oh, can I say another tangent? Hi, hi, hi. Um, baby metal is coming to Sacramento and Oh. <laughs> Are you so you going you're gonna did you get tickets? No, but no. I'm thinking, Moni, you want to come? <laughs> oh, no, it's too far away. You I have to like. Come. No, <laughs> no, come, come. Thank you. We'll, we'll talk about this yeah. later after class. We'll talk about the class. Uh, um, I, too yeah, too many of, flights. They don't come all. They come. They don't come all that often. I know. So epic. Why not come again? Nah, I'll leave that to you. I'll three... live through you. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 i'll i'll, I'll make plans um okay back back to topic Hi. <laughs> no i'm getting tickets for you you're gonna come <laughs> i'm i'm gonna probably have to fly in from somewhere too because oh. i'm traveling again mm -hmm. um yeah no it's the only time they come in sacramento the rest of the time they're gonna go to britain and, and germany they don't come oh. here um but yeah Yakai, yakai, yakai na, yakai na meshi sky o, yato wa hame ni natta. Mm, okay, so yakai is to hire. Yato, I hire. Yato is to hire. Yato is to hire. So yakai na. So na follow an an a na a um na adjective. Hi, so hi. this yakai means but a na adjective is just basically a noun. When it mm. had a na, then it becomes So yakai is gonna describe something. Yakai is kind of like the adjective for like being bothersome. Hi. Okay, so a bothersome servant. Hi. Yato wa hameni. Not that. It seems that I've been burdened with hiring a useless I... servant. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. Um, do you know how to read this? It ends with my. My. Um my uh yo my. Hi, yo my what is fl flat? Yes. Flat objects. Perfect. Four flat objects. Like, like paper money would be your high high. Well, even like coins could be my theoretically. Um, you might coins. use a different counter, but most coins would also be flat. Um, they, it, it would depend on like your opinion. But anything flat, the shape doesn't like really matter. I think it just has to be like you know about this level of thinness or less. Oh, so does that mean that pieces of clothing? Would be considered to be flat object. You could count it if the coding clothing was not folded. Like if you had it flat, like laid out, theoretically. Mm. But if you had it folded, it's going to be like a different shape. 
So if it's bulk up into like a square shape, then what would it be? Like, is it a die? I'm not sure die? what it would be. I'm not the best book. <laughs> um, oh, that's dead. okay. There's chat. There's chat GBT now. Yeah. <laughs> they tell us all the answers. <laughs> you, could, you could ask. <laughs> How do you what? count flat? Uh, one day I'll do like a one day scanner. I'll do a clothing like course. I mean county course and get it hammered in. Uh, but for I, now I, I will live in oblivious and be like, wow, I know we're counting something, yeah. but what? Yeah. Hi. Uh, um, do you know the reason so this the one? Hi. Is Yume Shidai. Perfect. Yume, Yume Shidai. Shidai is it's a meal so so but meal it's a dinner dinner meal why do you think dai is here i'm guessing dai is a counter kind of but not really it's mm. it's it's a suffix i guess is what it would be uh grammatically dai means like yeah. price so this the would be the price. price of dinner, the cost of dinner. Cost of dinner. Price. And this is how you'll really commonly see it. You'll see some kind of idea and then die added to it saying the cost of dinner or the cost of the medical bills or anything like that. So die is the cost. And it just kind of gets stuck directly to some kind of noun normally. So you don't need to do no. You wouldn't say you oh. meshi no die. That's, that's not really said. Cost um, of dinner. So this verb, um, can you read it for me? Hataku. Right. So hataku and tataku are basically identical. As far as kanji goes, um, tataku is to hit, but hataku with a ha tends to insinuate um sweeping of something. So this would be um dusting. Or in the context, we're going to see it to use up your money. Use up money. So, so rather than punching somebody, you're hitting it with the duster, and then finally you smacked all your money away. Taku. Um. So hataku is to stack away. <laughs> uh, hataku. So tataku with two t's. Ta, taku. Hataku has the same kanji as this, and that means to hit something. This is to hit. Ha taku mm. with a ha means like to dust. To dust. To, to sweep away. Oh. And it okay. can be used to mean to sweep away your money or to use up your money. To use up. Hi. But and it, it can also yeah. mean literally to clean up the room. Yes. To sweep out the dirt. It is used both ways in this book. Uh next sentence is the use up money version so i'll just let, let you know that's, that's why i have the note there because who knows what definition i'd give you off the top of my head because there's so many but it has both Hi. um do you know how to read this yon mai Hi. yon mai perfect so now you get to go read the line from the book what did never he write in his diary Hi. Um, Kozo. Kozo no asa. Asa. Um, shoku dai. Asa shoku dai dake da, dake de. So in this case, you're right, that's asa, but in this case, it's actually pronounced uh, a little bit different than that. Um, should be, um, chu shoku, I believe. Chu oh. shoku. Chu. Morning. No. no, it's chu, chu, chu shoku. Chu. Wait, chu. Cho, cho, cho shoku. Cho. Wait, now I am confused. I, I, Morning. Oh, ah, get my guess you. I, I spell it with, sometimes my mouth does that. So it's cho shoku. Cho shoku. Uh, whenever sometimes I do the CH, it gets S in there and then I get confused. So cho shoku. Mm. It's a cho shoku. Cho shoku dai. Uh, the cost of breakfast. So. Dake. Only. De. Do. Kai. O. Yon mai mo. Hataku wa. Me ni nata. Hame ni naru. Hame ni nata. 
Oh, it's a burden. So, How many so. not that? It becomes a burden. Hi. Uh, what becomes a burden? The hataku. Hataku. Payment. Paying is a burden. The burden okay. of paying is do kai o yomai mo. Four coins. Four um, copper coin. Hi. Only for the breakfast. Yeah. For the just boy. with the breakfast for the, the boy. boy. I had to. I was stuck with paying four coins. I was burning. Four coins. Four coins mo. just for breakfast. So the mall kind of feels here, like they're just and where they're just. Yeah. This like, I have to do this extra four coin thing. Yeah. For the boy, also, oh, right. I have to yeah. pay up four more. <laughs> Why do you have to eat breakfast? <laughs> Basically, the you'll find out later with the boy ate an obscene amount of food. <laughs> so four, <laughs> four coins is a lot more in the story than it sounds like. Oh my! Was goodness. it four dollars? It's like forty dollars or something. Breakfast was forty dollars because of this kid. <laughs> um so I'm just gonna check if you remember how to read this word. Meshi mesh sky. Sky. Perfect. Servant. How about that word? Yak yani yakuni tachi. Yep. To become yakuni useful. Tachi. Perfect. And last one on this page. Chu shakudai. Hi, it's actually cho. Cho cho soku. Helps when you get it mistaken. <laughs> Chew is um lunch, which is what makes it confusing. Oh, so good. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so this was a sentence from the past, Saki. So let's go read this and let me know what you think the sentence means. Saigo ni at the end. Hi. You know, no pai no. The, the leftover pie from yesterday. Hi. And we say that tairakeda is a verb that means finish off. Hi. Right? Yep. Finish the remaining. Yep. Perfect. So I finished so off the, the end, remaining of the pie. When? At the end. Hi. Tai at go. the end. Um, which pie did he finish off? Finish off. The left, the leftover one from yesterday. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Um, chinamini. Chinamini is by the way. By the way, dot dot dot. Chinamini. Chinamini. Oh man, they don't have kanji. I'm gonna forget. Chinamini. Meaning. Yeah. So much easier when there's kanji. Ah. So much easier when there's kanji. That's. People hate kanji, but they don't understand. Without kanji, you won't remember what it means. Well, my favorite <laughs> is when I get both. Like, thank you. Uh, theoretically, there is kanji, it looks like. So, chinamini can have that kanji, which is a By square the way, with a big in it. Chinamini. Oh, yeah, it's definitely had a meaning to it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the man with the square meaning the man is in prison inside. Uh, this this the room. means big. Big. So this is human. Big. This is big. So it's a box oh, it's a... with big in it. With die. Big box. Die inside of inside of a boundary. So so. Meaning by the way. By the way. Oh, okay. You can think about it. I have a big thing to talk about that's related to what we're already talking about because what you're talking about is in the box. So it fits in the box. But this is important. So it's mm -hmm. big. Um, big. Do you have to recognize this kanji? By the way. Tairageru. Right. Tairageru. To complete it up. Um, do you ever read this guy? Uh, hi. is choshoku. Hi. Choshoku. Perfect. I'll skip that. Um, this is an example sentence. Let's go read it. Hi. Chinami ni uh, kozo ga. By the way, boy. 
Uh, for this, you should read the whole sentence. Hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, Joshokini, no wa ichigo no pie. Hey, so we got this the no raspberry right. Pie. Yep. The that which you finish off. Hi. At, bre at, at breakfast. Yes. By the way, the boy finished off the breakfast. That is the raspberry pie. Yep. Perfect. Yep. So he's saying in his di diary is, but by the way, right. oh, who is he talking to himself? He's, or is he's talking to, to himself. He just, he's just writing. He's like, oh, this is a, no it's, it's, just, it's uh, just, if you've ever written a diary, this is very normal. <laughs> Got to write something. What, what happens so today? Basically, yeah. He basically say, oh, by the way, the boy finished off for breakfast the raspberry pie. Oh, I yes. get it. Yep. He likes the raspberry pie, too. Ah. <laughs> that, that would be insinuated by the sentence. Uh, but there's he, a no, lot no. more to the sentence. So. <laughs> he was eating He was eating that at the chair mm -hmm. when Khan when woke up. And he was, like, wiping his mouth with a napkin. Oh, Obviously, he really liked that pie. Hi, and hi, now, hi. Hi. Han is eating what's left of it. <laughs> Such a bad boy. Hi. Hi. So right now we're looking and, at another counter. This one is Cole. Cole. This counter. And it's kind of like a generic counter. Like it doesn't, it has like, it counts for things that have like individual units exist of it. So apples and things, anything that's like, this is the item. You can kind of count it with Cole. Um, how do you say one item? Ichigo. Hi. So in this case, this is actually a small stew. So it's actually Ichigo. Ichigo. Can you count food item with this, right? You count it would depend. Pie, cookie. maybe. But it, it's more like it's something that's like a defined object. So you could probably use pie mm. for this if you wanted to. But that would feel almost like like I would almost like more likely to count maybe like can't like something in the shape of pie than really pie, I I would assume. Uh, I'm not the best person with counters, but like uh from my head, I would say probably not for for pie because it's, it's like you wouldn't count mashed potatoes with this because it could be in different shapes, you could shape it. But like apples, even though they're a little bit different in shape, they're you all like when you say what does an apple look like? It's like you know apple. And oranges i wonder what what went on on that little island of japan that causes the language to get so obsessed about counting things in pacifics this doesn't happen with any other language anywhere well, english else, has some things for example we can't say five paper i want five paper please oh you want sheets of paper oh i want to be pacific so I, other <laughs> languages have similar things. But yeah, Japanese definitely goes crazy with their amount of num particles. I think English only has like five, one of which is the sheets. I don't know what the others are, but uh, yeah. Okay. Pieces, five P's. Yeah, pieces would be our generic one. So sheets is our right. my, right? Our my counter. Anything that's flat. <laughs> We could talk about sheets of things. So yeah, we, we have it in English as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely way mm. more in Japanese than English. Okay, so let's go read another example sentence. All right. This one is Chinamini. What is it? Oh, Chinamini Kozo ga. I saw uh no. So, by the way, the boy for breakfast finished off one apple. Exactly. Perfect. Do you happen to know this kanji? I haven't learned it yet, but we did see it a couple of lines ago. Nokoru. Hai nokoru to be left over. Perfect. How do you think you read this word? Sanko. Hi, Sanko. Three items. How do you think you read this? 
No korimono. Hi, any guesses what this means? Leftover things. Exactly, leftovers. Perfect. Okay, so Wonder. muffins are counted with coal. What do they mean by that? Bacon is over food. Leftovers. Yeah, leftover it's it's anything that is less. left over. Um, it it's especially used for foods, but it doesn't have to be foods. Um, it's it's any kind of remains, remaining items, but probably food. Oh, so when you divide something and there's a remainder, then they can be nokori. Hi. Nokori su. So it's just mono for thing remainder. and nokori, which is to remain. Okay, so Hai. let's go read our example sentence. So, example sentence is. Bozo ga asa. No, no. Cho shoku ni kara. Okay, so the boy for breakfast finished off one apple, three muffins. Uh, bacon, bacon, a bacon, and leftovers are the raspberry pie. Yep, and the remaining of the left, the remaining of the re left, the leftover that was and, raspberry pie. And he finished off the raspberry pie as well. Yeah. So this kind of because we're talking about breakfast here. So the last, the other day, he had dinner, right? So dinner, they got this raspberry pie dish. And they didn't finish it during dinner time. So when the morning came, he had to order these extra items and he finished off the pie. This has like a why no korimono is in here versus why it's not with the other guys. Because these are newly ordered I can, items. I can get the feeling with Neburi in this diary because from the description of his, of Khan describing him, he's like this old man who was no longer in his prime. So he's probably don't have a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah he got his like fair, his, his wardrobe down clothes, and he's like, yeah, "Gosh, his, his wardrobe Poor is like coin. getting um down in in qualities." He's like, he "Gosh, this his... servant must not want me to pay him because his food budget's a little bit over my budget." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our next oh. counter high is used with liquids. But normally, like a right. liquid in, like you know, like a container. So you got like a cup. So it's like a or cup sake. of water or a sake. sake, anything like that. Something that would be in a cup, probably to drink out of. Uh, I think bottles uses a different counter. So, what's the counter for cup? Hi. 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 Yep. Hi. Um. Do you remember how to read this guy? Sumetai. How about this guy? Sumetari, nope. becoming cold. So this is sumetai, which is cold, and this has the same kanji, but this is actually hieteru, which is like you said, becoming cold. Hieteru. Yep. He. He. So sume and he hieteru. Definitely confusing. Can you read this for me? Um. One. Hi. Bye. One, One drink. drink of something. How would you read this word? Yonko. Four, Hi. Four, Yonko. Things. four things. Okay. So now you got a lot of things to read here. Uh, we can skip the first part and you can start over there. <laughs> to save time if you want. <laughs> I saw um Yonko Milk 
ミルクいっぱいミルクいっぱいはい。Why did he say it twice? Um, my one fault. Milk and then one milk? Yeah, it's just a glitch. ミルクいっぱいバターとブラブラウンジシュガーブラウンシュガーブラウンシュガーブラウンシュガーとナッツナッツナッツナッツナッシはいナッシナッシハイリノイカユイリイリナッシイリノカユイエタユーデガガイモノリモノノイチゴノパイ So for breakfast he finished off four Eggs. はい。One milk. Probably glass of milk would be how、uh, I translate it. One glass or yes.、Uh, butter, brown sugar,、um, and nashi. What is nashi? Oh, oh, actually, that isn't she. That'd be um, tsu. Natsu. 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 Which is.、Uh... What is not to, is not to, but it's not nasty. Um, it's is some... that like the stinky, stinky tofu or something. Stinky、mm, I、bean? think that's not、Is、that. I don't think that's what it is. Not to, what is that? Oh, nuts. 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 So he had butter, brown sugar, and nuts in the iri no、oh, in the kayu. Kayu is、yogurt. porridge. Porridge. <laughs> I had this for breakfast. Oh, every, nice. Every morning. I know how to say it. Yeah. Like, have brown a... sugar. To... Kayu. Not to eat in no kayu. You know, kayu. He ate a you de a. What is a you de?、Uh, you、oh. would be boiled water. So it's. So it's boiled. Jagaimo that has been chilled. Boy Jagaimo that has been chilled. And then the rest of the pie that was left over. So perfect. These are the things that he finished off for breakfast. I know. Can you just imagine how long this list is going to look like at the end? <laughs> oh my goodness.、Uh, how do you read this word? Ni. Ni. I'm guessing there's no.、Uh, 10 10 on this, right? Hi. Is it knee high or is it knee high? Yep, high? knee high. It is knee high. Correct. Two glasses. It, when it's three, it's sung. When it's、yep. three, it's sung by, right? Probably. That sounds right. Yeah, I think so. Sung by. Sung by. Ozo ga. Joshoku ni. Hai. ラゲタノワオチャニハイはい。And another thing, right? はい。By the way, the boy for breakfast、mm-hmm. of two オチャ two green tea. Perfect. So probably cups, right? Two cups to green tea. That that's just like I mean, two green tea sounds bad in English. We need to have a counter stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds weird. It's, a, it's like three glasses, three cups, three bottles. Three glass, Doesn't matter. You just glass, need a container for the liquid. <laughs>、uh, okay, so now we've reached the time for the whole massive list of everything the Kozo ate for breakfast, which、はい、costed four coins. Chinami ni Kozo ga Josoki ni Pairageta no wa. マフィン3個、ベーコン、卵4個、お茶3杯、お茶2杯、これは、ね、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お茶2杯、お
一杯。バターとブラウンシュガーとナッツ入りのナッツ入りの床のかゆあリンゴリンゴ一個冷えたゆでかがいも乗り物のいちごのパイ。Perfect. By the way, the、yeah. boy for breakfast finished off three muffins, bacon, four eggs, two cups of green tea, one cup of milk, butter, brown sugar, and nuts,、uh, porridge. Um, bingo, eco, one apple. He had that you de gagai mo, uh, steam, uh, steam potato that chills, and the rest of the leftover, uh, raspberry pie. Hey, so with tairagita, it does mean like it means like to eat up completely, to eat up completely. So you could use to finish off. But the kind of idea that he's illustrating here is that the kid gobbled up this food. He just completely ate all this stuff. He ate the muffins, the bacon. With, he finished off in English, sounds a little bit more like, oh, I had some leftovers and the kid just finished it off. This is like a slightly. He gobbled them. He gobbled up. He's like a、breakfast. monster. Yeah. I mean, crazy. Look at all what he ate four ate eggs, three muffins. He had milk and tea <laughs> and porridge and an apple and potatoes and pie and bacon. He ate this one's boy ate a lot. Four coins, four coins well spent. That's it. was Oh my goodness. And that、oh、is、God. where we're going to stop for the day. So I'll stop our recording. <laughs>